Good morning, sweetheart. How was your sleep? Did you dream of me? You don't have to, because I'm right here. I'm up about an hour earlier than usual. I have a 10 hour drive ahead of me today, so yay. <laughs> glad it stopped raining that way I don't have to drive through rain isolated thunderstorms crap today <clears throat> at least I'm hoping I don't have to but that dog is braving the waves as best it can Man, this room sucked ass. Just saying. I pulled over down there. Um, that first block. Adjusted my camera mount. But there really wasn't a place to pull over. I just thought I'm going to be here for two seconds. And if someone comes up, they're going to go right around me. Because... All the shops around here, people stop and unload for the day and all that kind of stuff. Nope. The police rolled up right beside me and said, what's going on, bud? I told a fib, I said, I was just adjusting my GPS because I thought that would sound better than saying, I'm adjusting the camera mount because I like dash cam footage. <laughs> Anyways, I almost went to prisons. <laughs> that would have been awesome to be an inmate. Right down here in paradise. <laughs> if I stay right on track, I'll be pulling into Penn State territory around 3P. And I know that layout pretty damn good because your boy's been all up in State College, Pennsylvania before on some philanderings and running around and you know what I'm saying? So I know the fucking deal, bitch. Love you guys. Bye. Look, it's a big truck. It's a big scary truck, guys. Oh my god, guys. Jeez. Well, that was a rip off. You're supposed to stop there and pay three bucks to the little guy in the window. But they didn't have it. They don't have it set up yet. You still gotta drive under the flashers like the good old days. Fuck. I was really looking forward to handing him my three dollars. Fuck. Now I'm gonna get a bill in the mail. I hate mail. <laughs> Two seconds later. Fucking highway robbery. Right of free movement, my ass. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh. Thank you. 
Thanks for robbing me. Thanks for robbing me. I just started an hour detour. I am notorious among my peers for taking the hour detour around Detroit, around whatever, and now around New York City. Nothing about New York City that appeals to me. I have a classic single with cheese, and um, that'll be all, please. Just a sandwich? Yes, please. All right, 3561 first window. Thank you. Thank you. Hungry as shit, so I pulled over to this McDonald's. Right here in Fuckface, New York, my favorite little town ever. The first thing I had to do was piss. So I went and did my business and tried to wash my hands. The sink would not cooperate. I'm sitting there going like this to the little sensor over and over and over. Psst, it would just pee on my hand psst, and then stop. I was trying everything I could think of. I was just getting insanely irritated. Not at the sink, but at the fact that you know that sink's been doing that. Every employee there experiences that. Anyway, it's like I was trying to say. So I got pissed and gave up barely got the soap off my hands I had a bunch of water on my hands now and I flipped the water all over the mirror <laughs> through a tantrum like a little baby I thought I was in there by myself and I didn't know I was rude but apparently I am when no one's looking I turn around somebody's behind me waiting on access to the sink and <laughs> they just kind of, this guy just kind of looked down at the floor like so yeah, then I just went across the street to Wendy's, and as you just heard, one sandwich, five sixty. Like every bite of this sandwich is going to be like forty cents. What the? Fuck? I have never seen a rest stop off the freeway in Ohio that was not banging, big, clean, plenty of space, tables. Big building, smelling good, plenty of trash cans. I have also never seen a rest stop in New York State that wasn't janky as fuck. just being in Pennsylvania reduces my stress score about a hundred points especially now that I got me some fucking snacks to get me through these last two hours of driving baby Okay, I'm in room 302. I am 96% sure that last time I was here, about three years ago, I was next door in 300. Because I remember the end of this hallway in the suite specifically. I was originally going to delay my check-in even farther 
and go across town and get some Chipotle and then go next door to this little t-shirt shop but chicken alfredo was calling my name instead <laughs> holy fuck boys now punk ass bitch before you get comfortable head down before you take your shoes off head down and get you some ice not in this stupid son bitch the old recycled tea bell cup mm. this room already absolutely reeks like stinky stale stagnant water because now my luggage is in here and some of my shit got lost in the mix and it has beach water in it and it smells worse than like ball cheddar. Mmm. You know, I was just thinking, it has been ages since I have traveled and turned on the television or utilized the Wi-Fi password they always give me at check-in. My phone with network data takes care of both of those needs instantly. So that room beside me is a suite. The only thing that's in that room that's different than my room is an extra wall right here. Mine's just open and a second TV. The room next door gets the same size. It's just there's a couch and another TV. So that's it. This room has a couch. And a TV. It just doesn't have a second TV in a separate with a with a wall in between to make this not so open. So you really get everything you need and a hundred times more than what you need just by getting a regular room. I'm gonna go to Sleepy Town now. See you on the next one. Bye.